What? World War III? Where do you want to be? Well, let's talk about that next. Dave Edwards, Treasure Valley Dave, and today I just want to kind of explore this whole thing about World War III's coming? Is it really? Yeah, I own the world. An empty, dead, silent world. More of them for the pit. Every day there are more of them. I don't know about that, but if it does come, I know where I want to be. And I'm going to tell you about that in just one second, but first, I want to let you know that if you're thinking that um, Idaho might be the place for you, Please give us a talk, call, text, email, whatever it takes. We'd be glad to answer your questions and find out if maybe it really is the place for you. And it might just be, especially after today's episode. Am I kidding? No. Huh. Anyway, and go to our website, www.treasurevalleydave.com. Go to that resources page. You can see we've got some great things, and it's all here, all for you, all for free. And uh, we just can't beat that. And, you know, if there's some subject that you'd like to see covered, and we can add to our resource catalog, and um, and you might just be helping somebody else out. So leave a comment down below if there's something that you'd like to see added to this. All right, so for today, um, World War Three is it coming? Saving the world is not enough. I mean, but you're trying to do good things, and you're a billionaire. I mean, yeah, that seems a little bit like either superhero or supervillain. You have to choose one. The street said he's the world's richest man. And he says that uh, World War III might be coming. So what does that mean? Oh, it looks like it's all taking place in the whole Ukraine thing. Um, it says that uh, the West has been saber rattling for a long time, um, moving down a little bit further. And uh, Elon responds. And it says, you know, it's going to happen if you guys aren't careful. Uh, World War III, this post caused supporters of Ukraine and Russia to accuse each other of bad behavior um, since 2012. Well, and you know, speaking of bad behavior, speaking of Ukraine, um, the Russia-Ukraine conflict could escalate into an all-out war with enormous consequences, not only for Ukraine, but for the world. Um, so could it happen? Well, you know, back in the old days, Treasure Valley Dave used to think about this quite frequently. I was uh, an employee of our of our uh, services, and um, where I worked was uh, a place that was constant threat that we were going to get nuked at any moment now, and um, and that was not Ukraine. Huh. So, uh, but speaking of Ukraine too, did you guys see this video? Essentially, this is where. Uh, our president, back when he was vice president, the uh, people in uh, Ukraine were were uh, looking at the shenanigans that his son was doing over there, and let us see what he says about that. I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting a billion dollars. I said, you're not getting a billion, I'm going to be leaving here, and I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. Well, well, son of a bee, huh? Don't think that uh, we haven't been, I don't know, stirring things up over there for a while. So I don't think there's any uh, angels in war. As Elon said right there. Um, but what happens, let's just say war does kick off. Where do you want to be? Now, another thing that you are, are talking about is you, you sincerely think that we should go to Mars, like that men and women should go to Mars. Yeah. So we've talked about this book before, and I want to look at it a little bit more. Strategic Relocation with uh, Joel Skousen. This is the fourth edition. So this came out in 2021. And um, so it's got all updated information and things like that. And I just kind of wanted to briefly look through here. Um, I want to check out this climate part for this map right here. This shows where the winds are. And it looks like we get most of our winds are to the uh, east side of the Rockies. So we don't have all that much wind over here. So just kind of keep that in mind because it could come in handy. War, invasion, and terrorism. So this is uh, 
This is a fantastic section right here. And you tell me, where else are you seeing people discuss these things? Government-sponsored terror? Nuclear terrorism? The uh, nuclear war? The coming surprise attack? Uh, you're not hearing this on Fox. You're not hearing this on CNN for sure. Am I right? Um, here's our strategic uh, nuclear targets. And we're going to get into this a little bit more here in just a moment. So here's just a quick glance at the entire United States. And you can see that Idaho came in at four and a half, as did Utah, California at 0, 0.0, Texas down at three, no, sorry, two and a half. And, you know, there's various different reasons. Now, you would think down here in the south, they would probably be all right. I mean, don't they have like a lot of, uh, I don't know, gun loving people down there? Maybe, but there's going to be something that we're going to talk about in just a minute that looks at that even more. Um, and part of that is a regional analysis. So the dark areas are population centers. So as I've um, watched Joel on uh, some different videos and in his book here, so if bad things happen, what's going to happen? All this population here, there's these mountains right here, right? All this population is going to come down here through the south. That's just where they have to go. And over here... We have much population here, and uh, where it's going to go, well, what doesn't get nuked away or earthquaked away is going to come inland. Maybe over here to Arizona. Is that an easy trek going that way? Probably. There's not a whole lot up here. We do have, uh, you know, Seattle and the Portland area, um, but not masses of hordes. I mean, this is just massive of hordes. These people are going to all be coming down here and filtering through here, probably end up down here in parts of Texas too. I mean, wouldn't you? And a little bit uh, more of a look, we're talking about the Northwest region and over here, we've got uh, after a nuclear attack, and that's what we're talking about today, am I right? Probability of massive panic in the high density corridor from I-5 from Eugene to Seattle, um, extremely high. Yeah, that's, but surely, surely, and don't call me Shirley. Surely you say, well, what about Idaho? Idaho is top rated state for strategic safety. Huh. Then, you know, that makes a lot of sense. Once you read through this book and you see all the reasons why. So here's a overall map of the United States and the, the little, uh, Orange arrows there are the strategic nuclear targets. And let's take a, a little zoom in look here. So this is our area up here. We have one and it's, there we go. Over here by Idaho Falls, the Idaho National Labs. Up here, what do we got in Montana? Isn't that all the, um, the missile silos? The same over here. And we have quite a bit going on in Utah. And not so much over here. So that's something. And nothing around here. Yes, we do have Bountain Home, and that is listed as a secondary target. What we're looking at here is the primary targets. Oh, I guess while we're here, let's just take a look at... Wow, LA's got a ton of those little arrows, don't they? A lot of Air Force bases over there. Got some around uh, a couple places in Arizona, even up in Flag. Las Vegas. So there's a... Uh, yeah. Whew. So then I want to look over here. This book takes state by state. And you can go in and look at all these different categories and um, see for yourself a couple of things so here's the military targets mountain home secondary target the boise air terminal secondary target and the idaho national lab is a primary target so i don't know if things heat up with uh, russia we know they got missiles that can go that far right um while we're here let's just look at some of these other things let's see alternative medicine is very good homeschooling no regulation 
Gun liberty, excellent. Personal liberty, very good. Crime is lower. Corruption is lower. That's not for lack of trying, I'm sure. You guys stay vigilant out there. Taxes below average. Politics conservative. Um, health. Water quality is excellent. We're fed by mountain springs. And uh, we have a lot of snow melt that comes down the mountains that gives us our water. So uh, we're, we're doing pretty good here. So if you haven't got this, you can go on the internet and get this. It's like 35 bucks. It's definitely worth, worth the money. We, uh, before we moved up here, we had the third edition. And this is how we picked coming to Idaho. Because it had ticked off all of those checks that we really uh, were concerned about. Um, one of them being we have our history working in uh, the nuclear environment was to be in a place that was safe from, at least as safe as possible from, you know, nuclear attack and the fallout therefrom. And that's why we ended up coming to Idaho. So it did us, it served us well. You guys can check that book out. With all this stuff going on, all this saber rattling, all these, um, what's a polite way to say that people who shouldn't be in charge are in charge and making decisions that could cost actually real men and women lives and um, it's not a real pretty thing but to make uh, you add insult to injury is like if you're living someplace that's going to get uh, overrun by the masses when nuclear bombs start dropping um, maybe uh, maybe Idaho's a place for you well I was going to say, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you didn't, because it was pretty depressing, really. But I hope you got something valuable out of it. And if you'd like to talk with us more about Idaho, about the nuclear stuff, or just what it's like to live here, or moving up here with pets, or with kids, or whatever, we've done all that here on the Treasure Valley Dave team, and we're looking forward to answering your questions. So give us a call, text, email, whatever it is, just let us know how we can help. And go to our website and then also www.treasurevalleydave.com and also go to our YouTube channel. And uh, there it is. Please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to our channel. We do have uh, our subscriber giveaways. We do those about once a month. And uh, we always have a fun time doing that. And it's uh, just great to be able to share a little bit of Idaho with people who are watching and maybe aren't here yet. But one of these days, am I right? Well, thank you so much, and we will see you on the next one. As always, Treasure Valley Dave, looking forward to helping you get home.